Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today. <clears throat> and today's word is actually based on a vision I received from the Lord the other day. And the title of this word is, you're taking care of yourself first. You are taking care of yourself first. And today's scripture references, I've got three of them, and I'll get into those in just a minute. But in this uh, vision, I saw, <laughs> You know, like when you're on an airplane and the masks drop down and the, the airline uh, attendants always say, you know, um, as you are boarding the plane, you know, if there's any sort of change in air pressure, please adjust your mask first before helping, you know, children next to you. And so the Holy Spirit brought this vision to my mind. Um, because he wants you to take care of yourself. Because if you are not taking care of yourself, how could you take care of the people around you? And if you don't love yourself, how can you ever give love to anyone else around you? And so the first scripture verse is Proverbs 4.23. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. And, you know, I think there's a misconception out there that um, being a Christian means that you're going to be a doormat. And that's not what Christ intends for you. You know, the Lord wants you to set boundaries with people and to, um, you know, allow yourself to be whole and don't let people push you around, you know? I mean, Jesus never let people push him around. When you think about the Pharisees, when they came uh, with the adulterous woman and were questioning Jesus and demanding that she be stoned, he turned around and started writing in the sand and ignored them, you know? And he did eventually answer them and eventually they left because he said, he who is without sin cast the first stone. So, you know, we're not obligated to jump through hoops for people, especially people who are, um, you know, emotionally abusive, physically abusive, sexually abusive. Anyone who's been, has a history of abuse in your life, um, you know, you need to guard your heart with those people and come out from among them and don't allow them to have access to you because the Lord wants you to take care of yourself first. Yes, we love people with the love of Christ. Yes, we forgive our enemies. Yes, we pray for people, but that doesn't mean that you're a doormat and that you have to continue subjecting yourself to a toxic situation that's dragging you down, that's not building you up spiritually, that's not, um, you know, em empowering you in your call, the call the Lord has, has given you on your life, he doesn't want you to be around people who are like crabs in a bucket. You know, you have to take care of yourself first. So the second scripture reference is Mark 6, 10 through 11. And he said to them, whenever you enter a house, stay there until you depart from there. And if any place will not receive you, and they will not listen to you when you leave shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them and again i'm hearing in my um spirit the verse about don't cast your pearls before swine you know if someone doesn't receive you if they won't listen to you um if they're not building you up, if they're not encouraging you, shake off the dust that is on your feet and move forward. You know, this is part of taking care of yourself first. You know, you don't need to stay around people who are not building you up, who don't receive you. You know, the Lord, it says in the Bible, shake the dust off your feet. Come out from among them. That was another verse that I shared with another word today. Uh, and the last scripture reference is John 14, 26 through 27, and it reads, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. 
Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. So the Lord doesn't want you to be around people who um, steal your peace and steal your joy. And we know that, that that's the enemy's main objective is to steal your joy. And he will use people around you to who have access to you to try to steal your joy. And many of you have done such a great job of tightening up your circle of, you know, the Holy Spirit's been revealing people to you in your lives who don't have your back. And many of you have had to separate from these people and it's not been an easy process. It's been difficult, but the Lord is saying he wants you to have peace. You know, he doesn't want you to be among people who are chaotic and filled with drama. You know, you deserve to have peace in your life. Your portion is peace in Jesus Christ. You know, he, he gives you peace. He gives you comfort. He doesn't, you know, anything other than that, any people who cause strife, anxiety, fear, that is from the enemy. So, you know, you don't need to be a doormat for people. You know, you need to take care of yourself first. You can still be a Christian, love people, and set healthy boundaries. And take care of your own peace, your own energy, guard your heart, and don't allow people to have access to you who are speaking out against your destiny, who are, you know, playing with your self-esteem, who are calling you names, who are, who are diminishing you, trying to dim your light, no. You will not accept that. That is not your portion. That is not what Christ intends for his child. He loves you. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. You're his royal, royal priesthood. You're his special treasure. And you do not need to be around people and among people who treat you anything less than that. And if they don't see the Holy Spirit's light in you, or actually they do, <laughs> it's the spirit in them that's trying to dim your light. For we battle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and high places. This is Ephesians 6, uh, 10 through 12. You know, and you, you can't be naive. You have to see these things in the spiritual realm. And the enemy will use any tactic to steal your joy. So please guard your hearts, take care of yourselves. You're not a punching bag, you're not a doormat. Jesus Christ wants you to stand up for yourself and you can still love people, forgive people, honor and respect people from afar. That's completely biblical. If two cannot agree, let them separate. So again, I'm not sure who this message is for today, but you are not a doormat. You know, you, you know who you are in Jesus Christ. And he gives you authority to trample them underfoot like serpents and scorpions. All those, you know, agents, the spirits, we pray against them. We cast them down. We plead the blood of Jesus over everyone in our life who the enemy is using to try to keep you out of your destiny. You are not a doormat. You are going to continue continue being obedient to the Lord, following his divine instruction. For many of you, he's instructing you to leave certain people behind. And you need to listen to your father's voice. It says in the book of John, my sheep know my voice. So again, I'm not sure who this is for today. Please take this to the Lord for confirmation. Test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. And if you feel the Holy Spirit's leading you to sow into this message, I encourage you to do so. I pray over every seed that the Lord will increase it a thousandfold. I pray that over you individually, that the Lord will continue to lead, guide, and direct you into his perfect will for your lives. I pray for everyone who receives these messages, that they will edify the body of Christ, they will uh, glorify God, and share the gospel of Jesus Christ on this earth. So again... Please know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed.